Good evening. Welcome to our Wednesday midweek service and welcome to our JTD series, Joseph the Dreamer. Last Wednesday po, pinag-usapan natin, the dreamer comes, buhay ni Joseph. For, today, uh, for tonight, pag-usapan po natin, uh, ang title po ay Joseph the Governator from Prison to Palace. Next Wednesday po, yung part 3, huwag niyo pong kalimutan panoorin. Joseph, the Prince of Grace. At syempre, sa part 4, Joseph, the Forgiving Blessed Ruler. Ano po yung uh, learnings natin to sa last Wednesday sa part 1? Pa, natutunan po natin na uh, si Joseph, eh, sa magandang picture, a picture of Jesus, no? maraming silang similarities. Maraming patterns na parehas, maraming pag, uh, pag, uh, parehas sila ng uh, prinsipyo sa buhay. No? Isang magandang nakita natin, sabi ni Joseph, one day every me will bow. No? Doon sa kanyang dream. At ganun din yung, uh, yung prophetic vision para kay uh, Jesus Christ na lahat ay isang araw, tuyo ko, at lahat ng... Uh, uh, pang ay magsasabi na Jesus is Lord. Pinag-usapan natin, ha, katutunan natin na uh, uh, kahit sa dami na chaos after chaos sa buhay ni Joseph doon sa part 1, eh, God has a plan. No? I-reveal ng Diyos yung plan niya dito sa part 2. Tapos, uh, na, 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 natutunan natin na uh, we need to praise God in the hallway before God will open the door. So, Kilala niyo po ba ito? Uh, ito po yung dati na governor dito sa California. So, ang tawag sa kanya ay hindi governor, governator. Kasi siya rin ay isang artista at isa sa mga sikat na movie niya yung Terminator. Kaya pinagsama yung governor at governator, uh, terminator. So naging governator. Kasi parang mas, mas astig kesa sa governor lang. Uh, governor na, terminator pa. Kaya, Kaya yun yung title natin for tonight, si Joseph the Governator. So, astig from prison to palace. Yan. Sarap magkantuhan. Sa gabi na to, simulan natin. Ano ba yung magiging mga learnings natin sa uh, part 2? Una, uh, kagaya no sa part 1, no, ikukumpara natin si Jesus kay Joseph. No? Like Jesus, Joseph is no, trustworthy sa pagkakatiwalaan. Kagaya ni Jesus, encourager si Joseph. Tapos meron siyang with a never say die attitude. Siyempre, si Joseph, man of faith. That's game na ba kayo? Exciting. Alam nyo, bago tayo magsimula. Eh, i-ano muna natin. Eh, bigyan muna natin ng trivia. Alam nyo, for, for his entire 17 years si Joseph, favorite ng tatay niya, mabait siya, at 17 years old lang siya. Supervisor na siya ng mga kapatid niya. So meron siya talagang ano, uh, gift sa, ma- sa management, supervision, effective leadership, tsaka ano, mapagkakatiwalaan kasi siya ng tatay niya. At tsaka ano, he gets the job done, kumbaga. No? Pero nung 17 years old siya, eh, nakaingitan siya ng mga kapatid at binenta siya bilang slave. Alam niyo, sampung taon siyang naging slave kay Potiphar. At uh, araw-araw, eh, kinukursunada siya ng misis ni Potiphar. No? At 27 years young siya. Noong siya ay napagbintangan ng rape. Yun, ako. Nakulong. Naging prisoner. 27 siya noon. 30 years old siya na naging governor. 3 years pa siyang nakulong. Grabe, halos karati ng buhay ni Joseph ay puro miseries. Okay? So, eh, bago natin pasahin itong Genesis 40, eh, tingnan muna natin ano nangyari doon sa, sa part 1, ano? Sa Genesis 37 hanggang 39. So, for, uh, sa chapter 37, uh, ito nga si Joseph, eh, na naginip, di ba? Katapos, binenta siya sa slavery ng mga kapatid niya kasi nainggit siya. Nainggit sila. And then sa chapter 38, medyo ibang story to. 
yung story ni Juda at saka ni Tamar or ni Tamar or ni Tamar hindi <laughs> ko ako ano tama dun and sa so, uh, chapter 39 si Joseph no eh naging uh, katiwala ni Potiphar kasi nga naging slave siya katapos uh, doon nga eh nakos na daan siya ni Mrs. Potiphar uh, pagbintangan ng rape and then napunta sa prison si Joseph so sa last part Sabi dito, the warden, verse 23, did not bother with anything under, uh, under Joseph's authority. Wala na siya inintindi yung warden, yung kanyang prison. No, because the Lord was with Joseph and the Lord made everything that he did successfully. So si Joseph nasa, nasa ano, nasa, uh, kumbaga, uh, ano siya, uh, ina inaalihan tama ang tamang word doon uh, kumbaga uh, nasa, nasa kanya ang Panginoon no? kumbaga hindi siya iniwan so tingnan natin buksan niyo yung mga Bible niyo sa Genesis 40 magkakwentuhan tayo sa buhay ni Joseph so eto na the cup bear and the baker ayan nako exciting to ano nangyari so alam naman natin si Joseph siya yung uh, uh, pinagkakatiwalaan sa prison. So, tingnan natin. Sometime later, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their master, the king of Egypt. So, anong ginawa ni Pharaoh? Pharaoh was angry with his two officials, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker. So, na bad trip si, si Pharaoh sa dalawang official niya. So, yung butler niya, at saka yung baker niya. And put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard. So pinakulong niya in the same prison where Joseph was confined. So nandun yung pida natin. Kung saan ang leader ng prison, kumbaga ang mayor, ang nag-aasikaso, ang supervisor, si Joseph. The captain of the guard assigned them to Joseph. So inassign sila kay Joseph. And he attended with them. Imagine nyo, kaganda dito sa bida natin. No? Parang si Jesus, napaka-transport niya. Kasi meron siya, ang history eh. Bata pa lang siya, eh, nagkakatiwala na siya ng tatay niya, siya yung nagsusupervise sa mga kapatid niya, siya yung nagsusumbong, siya yung, alam yun, nung napunta siya kay Potiphar, pinagkatiwalaan niya siya ni Potiphar, na no, trustworthy, ganun din na nakulong siya. No, in spite of all the miseries in life, hindi nagbago si Joseph. Ang hindi rin nagbago, yung gift sa kanya ng Panginoon. Ganun din si Jesus sa buhay natin. In spite of lahat ng misery sa buhay natin, kahit kailan, kahit naging unfaithful tayo, laging faithful ang Panginoon sa buhay natin. After they had been in custody for some time, each of the two men, a cupbearer, and the baker of the king of Egypt, who were being held in prison, had a dream. The same night, naku, sabay na naginip. Yung dalawa, no? yung cupbearer at saka yung, uh, yung baker. No? Had a dream the same night and each dream had a meaning of its own. Ano kaya yung panaginip ng dalawang kolokoy na to? Alamin natin. When Joseph came to them the next morning, he saw that they were dejected. So he asked Pharaoh's officials who were in custody with him in his master's house, Why do you look so sad today, uh, mga bossing? Bakit kayo malungkot? Sabi ni Joseph. Imagine nyo na, tina nyo lang, pinenta ka bilang slave. Sampung taon nyo, slave ka. Nakulong ka, napagbintang kang ng rape. Kulong ka. I mean, sa ibang tao yan, siguro lukot na mukha mo ka kasi bango. Pero yung bida natin si Joseph, no, no nakakita siya ng mga taong malungkot, siya pa mismo nag-encourage. No? Kumbaga, napaka, ano eh, nakaiba yung attitude niya. No? Parang si Jesus. Si Joseph, the encourager, si Jesus ka din eh. Pwede natin silang maihilang tulad, di ba? Si Jesus. Si Jesus, encourager ng buhay natin. Araw-araw, ini-encourage siya tayo kahit na maliinisip natin, 
Pali yung ginagawa natin, pali yung sinasabi natin. We encourage tayo na Panginoon to live a life, no, a Godly life. To live a life na na positibo para sa Kanya. Alam niyo, isang bagay na gusto kong gift aside from dun sa Joseph's favor, aside from sa kaya niya mag-interpret ng dreams. Gusto kong gift yung gift ni Joseph, yung gift of encouragement. Kasi sa totoo lang, matami kang pwedeng matulungan kung may gift ka nito. Pero maganda dito, pwede mong hilingin sa Panginoon but to have a gift of encouragement. Practice-practice lang. So, mukhang mong mag-encourage. Text-text ka. Uh, tuwing makakausap mo yung mga taong malungkot, so mukhang mong ano, lift their spirits up at itanghal ang Panginoon. Glorify God. Lift up Jesus sa buhay nila. Ibida mo si Jesus. Huwag mo ibida yung sarili mo. Ibida mo si Jesus. Balik tayo din sa kwento. Ang sabi ni yung, sabi ng dalawa, we both had dreams, they answered, but there is no one to interpret them. And Joseph said to them, do not interpret, uh, do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me your dreams. Grabe. Alam niyo, hanga-hanga ako dito. Kasi pansin niyo, sabi ni Joseph, di ba ang pag-interpret ng panaginip ay sa Diyos lamang? Okay, meron siyang ability to interpret dreams. It's a gift from God. Pero hindi niya sinasabing, well, kaya ko yan. Sige, sabihin niyo. Ako mag-interpret. No, no, no. Yung dalawang yun, tinuturo niya sa Diyos. He is lifting up the name of Jesus. Kumbaga, hindi niya kinukuha yung glory. Naalala ko dito si ano, John the Baptist. Sabi niya, ni tagahawak na sandals ni, ni, ni Lord, hindi ako, hindi ako, ano eh, hindi ako worthy. Sa buhay natin, dapat ang prinsipyo natin. No? Lalo na kung lingkod ka ng Diyos. May he, may, kumbaga, may he, uh, kumbaga, uh, may he uh, umangat at ako ay lumubog. At nalimutan ko tuloy sa sa, <laughs> sa English. <laughs> may he, uh, uh, may pag naalaan ako. Pasabihin ko. <laughs> okay. Balik tayo kay Joseph. Ayun, may he increase and may I decrease. Sabi ni John the Baptist. Ano ba yan? <laughs> Kahit sa quarantine yata, nagiging makalimutin na ako. Anyway, balik tayo. Sabi ni Joseph, eh, ang pag-interpret ng dream sa Diyos yan eh. So, nililift up si Jesus. So, sabi niya, sige, sabi niya sa akin yung panaginip niya. Come on, tell me your dreams. Ano ba yan? Matutulong ako kayo ng Panginoon. So the chief cupbearer no, told Joseph his dream. He said to him, In my dream, I saw a vine in front of me. And on the vine were three branches. As soon as it budded, it blossomed. And its clusters ripened into grapes. Yun yung panaginip ni chief cupbearer. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand. Sorry ha, napapalit ko yung P tsaka F. And I took the grapes, squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup, and put the cup in his hand. Yo, yun yung panaginip niya. No? Kumbaga, parang bumalik daw siya sa dati niyang trabaho. This is what it means, Joseph said to him. The three branches are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you your position and you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand just as you used to do when you were his cupbearer. So, after three days, babalik ka dun, makukuha mo yung trabaho mo ulit, no? at, uh, at uh, mapapawalan sa hala ka. Sabi ni Joseph, in verse 14, but when all goes well with you, pag okay na ang lahat sa'yo, bossy, ha? remember me and show me kindness. Mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. I was forcibly carried off from the land of the Hebrews. And even here, I have done nothing to deserve being put in a dungeon. No? Kita-kita nyo naman yung attitude ng bida natin. No? 
meron siyang never say die attitude. Kasi in spite of sa naranasan niya, meron siyang hope. No? Meron siyang faith. Ano ibig sabihin ng faith? Diba? It, it is something that you hope for. And hindi mo nakikita. Pero alam mo darating, kalmada lang siya. Meron siyang never say die attitude. Alam niya, alam niya, ilalabas siya ng Panginoon. Kaya he's trying to uh, uh, persuade si si cupbearer na sana wag mo ako makalimutan when the chief uh, when the chief baker no, saw joseph given a favorable interpretation he said to joseph nako meron din akong panaginip i too had a dream on my head were three baskets of bread yung in the top basket all kinds of baked goods for Pharaoh. But the birds were eating them out of the basket on my head. Ibig sabihin ito. This is what it means, sabi ni Joseph. The three baskets are three days. Nako, tatlong araw din. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift off your head and impale your body on pole. Ibig sabihin po ng impale ay tutusok ka. Gagawin kang barbecue. And the birds will eat away your flesh. Ito yung mga interpretation na ayaw na ayaw maditinig. Ano yung nangyari on the third day? Now the third day was Pharaoh's birthday. Nako, birthday ni Pharaoh. And he gave a feast for all his officials. He, lift, he lifted up the heads of the chief cupbearer and the chief baker in the presence of his officials. He restored the chief cupbearer to his position so that he once again put the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he impaled the chief baker just as Joseph had said to them in his interpretation. Nakto, balik position na si chief cupbearer. Ang saya-saya niya siguro, ano? Pero, yun lang. Nalimutan niya yung bida natin. The chief cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. After bigyan siya ng magandang pabor ni Joseph, nakakalimutan niya si Joseph. At yun, minsan naisip ko, si Joseph, no? Pwedeng ihalin tulad yung kanyang experience kay Jesus. Kasi ilang beses ko bang nakalimutan si Jesus? After niya akong patawarin, after niya akong sagitin, after niya akong gawa ng maganda, after niya mag-provide sa akin, after niya palagpasin ako sa problema ko, nakakalimutan ko minsan si Jesus. Para akong isa doon sa siyam, sa sampung pinagaling, isa lang ang pumalik para magpasalamat. Sana sa buhay natin, sa dami-dami na ginawa ng Panginoon, gawin nating attitude sa araw-araw na magpasalamat sa Kanya. Hindi na kailangan ng dahilan para magbiesta. Mabukay ka lang sa araw-araw at matabasa uh, mo yung pagmamahal at uh, biyaya ng Diyos. Magandang rason na para mag-celebrate. At huwag natin kalimutan na lahat ng meron tayo galing sa Panginoon. Ayun, ang mabuti itong si Pero aligaga. Bakit kaya aligaga itong si Pero? Sige, ilipat nyo na yung mga Bible nyo sa Genesis chapter 41. Ano ba nangyari? Ito ay tungkol sa panaginip ni Pero. When two full years, oh my goodness, two full years, two full years had passed, makaraan ang dalawang taon So, 29 years old na dito si, si Joseph. No, nakakalimutan kasi siya ni, ano, eh, ni Cupbearer. Eh. Pero had a dream. He was standing by the Nile, yung sikat na river sa Egypt. When out of the river, there came up seven cows, sleek and fat. Okay. And they grazed among the reeds. Ano ibig sabihin po ng sleek? Sleek, it's been smooth and glossy. Okay? Anong ibig sabihin naman ng gaunt? 
skinny and thin. So, so na naginip siya. Na naginip siya ng sleek. Ibig sabihin, makinis. Mas mataba. Na, na cows. Uh, Nakapanaginip din siya ng isa pa. After them, seven other cows, ugly and gaunt. Ibig sabihin ng gaunt, payatot. Uh, came up out of the Nile and stood beside those on the river bank. And the cows that were ugly and gone ate up the seven sleek fat cows. Then Pharaoh woke up. Ang weird, no? Ang weird nitong dream na to. Kahit ako, kay Pharaoh, mapapatalun ako sa yun nga, <laughs> panaginip na yun. He fell asleep again and had a second dream. Seven heads of grain, healthy and good, were growing on single stalk. After them, seven other heads of grain sprouted, thin and scorched by the east wind. So, ano, ano nangyari? No? Uh, the thin heads of grain swallowed up the seven healthy full heads. Then the Pharaoh woke up. He had been a dream. It, I'm sorry, it had been <clears throat> a dream. And again, it Si Pharaoh. Weird ng mga panaginip niya. In the morning, his mind was troubled. So, aligagasa, so he sent for all the magicians and wise men of Egypt. Pharaoh told them his dreams, but no one could interpret them for him. Pas lalong nalungkot itong si Pharaoh. Wawang Pharaoh. Then the chief cupbearer said to Pharaoh, Today, oh Pharaoh, I am reminded of my shortcomings. Uh, pero naalala ko po yung aking pagkukulang. Ako. Kasi alam niyo po, noon, Pharaoh was once angry with his servants and he imprisoned me and the chief baker in the house of the coffee of the guard. Each of us had a dream the same night and each dream had a meaning of its own. Ito nga po nangyari. Now a young Hebrew was there with us, a servant of the captain of the guard. He told him our dreams and he interpreted them for us, giving each man the interpretation of his dream. And things turned out exactly as he interpreted them to us. I was restored to my position and the other man was impaled. So, Yawani Pharaoh, huh? he sent for Joseph and he was quickly brought from the dungeon. Pinul out na si Joseph, kinalaya. When he had shaved and changed his clothes, he came before Pharaoh. Kasi siyempre, Hebrew siya eh. So, para mas ka, yung bagang, uh, baga, kaanya-anyaya iharap sa Pharaoh, kinalbo siya, tsaka pinalitan ng damit. Pharaoh said to Joseph, I had a dream, and no one can interpret it. But I have heard it is it, it said of you that when you hear a dream, you can interpret it. Ano na naman yung bida natin? Napaka, nakaka-believe. Kita niyo kasi yung prinsipi niya, parehong pareho, hindi siya nagbabago. Sabi niya, I cannot do it. Joseph replied to Pharaoh. But, but, God will give Pharaoh the answer he desires. Hindi ito yung tipong, ah, pagkakataong pa na ito, para naman ako yung maka makawala na sa prison. Ay, kaya ko po yan, ako po yung magkaling, kaya kaya ko interpret yan. No, 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 no. Sabi niya, I cannot do it. He lift up the name of Jesus. Sabi niya, only God will give Pharaoh the answer he desires. I admire yung mayor ng Manila tuwing tatanangin siya or magpapasalamat sa kanya. Mayor, salamat po. No? Sabi niya, huwag kayo magpasalamat sa akin. Pasalamat kay sa Diyos. At ito yung matatapos yung speech niya. Sabi niya, Manila, God first. My goodness, that is, that is humility. That is Joseph humility. No? Hindi, 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 hindi kinukuha yung, yung, ano, yung, yung glory. Joseph, no? man of faith. Kasi, Alam niya yung pwesto niya. Alam niya yung, alam niya yan, uh, alam niya yung, ano niya, ala, ala, kumbaga, alam niya na, na, 
if I will keep my faith, the Lord is faithful na ilabas ako dito at ilagay ako sa pwesto kung saan ako nararapan. Balik tayo sa kwento. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, In my dream, I was standing on the bank of Nile when out of the river there came up seven cows, fat and sleek, and they grazed among the reeds. After them, seven other cows came up, scrawny and very ugly and lean. I had never seen such ugly cows in all the land of Egypt. Ano kaya, ano kaya, ano kaya ibig sabihin mo? The lean, ugly cows ate up the seven fat cows that came up first. But even after they ate them, no one could tell that they had done so. They looked just as ugly as before, and I woke up. In my dream, I saw seven heads of grain, sabi ni Pharaoh, full and good, growing on a single stalk. After them, seven other heads sprouted, withered, and thin and scorched by the east wind. The thin heads of grain swallowed up the seven good heads. I told this to the magicians, but none of them could explain it to me. And Joseph said to Pharaoh, The dreams of Pharaoh are one and the same. God has revealed to Pharaoh what he is about to do. Nako, Pharaoh, pinibigyan ka ng vision ng Lord kung ano ang dapat mong gawin. The seven good cows are seven years and the seven good heads of grain are seven years. It is one and the same dream. The seven lean, ugly cows that came up afterward are seven years and so are the seven worthless heads of grain scorched by the east wind. They are seven years of famine. It is just as I said to Pharaoh, God has shown Pharaoh what he is about to do. Seven years of great abundance are coming throughout the land of Egypt. But seven years of famine will follow them. Then all the abundance in Egypt will be forgotten. And the famine will ravage the land. The abundance in the land will not be remembered because the famine that follows it will be so severe the reason of the given, sorry, the reason the dream was given to Pharaoh in two forms is that the matter has been firmly decided by God and God will do it soon. <gasps> and now, let Pharaoh look for a discerning and wise man and put him in charge of the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh appoint commissioners over the land to take a fifth of the harvest of Egypt during the seven years of abundance. So, hindi lang in-interpret ni Joseph. Nagbigay na siya ng solusyon. They should collect all the food of these good years that are coming and store up the grain under the authority of Pharaoh to be kept in the cities for food. This food should be held in reserve for the country to be used during the seven years of famine that will come upon Egypt. So, that the country may not be ruined by the famine. The plan seemed good to Pharaoh. Hmm. And to, to all his officials, huh? so Pharaoh asked them, hmm, can we find anyone like this man? One in whom is the Spirit of God. Sarap sana, merong background music. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Nako. Eh, sino pa ba? Big time hero natin. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, Since God has made all this known to you, there is no one so discerning and as wise as you. You shall be in charge of my palace. And all my people are to submit to your orders. Only with respect to the throne will I be greater than you. Ibig sabihin, Joseph, governator ka na. Ibig sabihin, Joseph, eh, isa lang ang mataas sa'yo. Ikaw ang pinakamataas sa buong Egypt. 
yung throne lang ni Pharaoh ang mas tataas sa iyo. Siya lang ang pwede mag-override sa Pero bakit kanya yung override kung ibibless ng Panginoon yung Egypt through you? Naalala ko lang po isang story ng isang magkama. A father said to his son, You graduated with honors? Here's a car that I acquired many years ago. It is a several years old. But before I give it to you, take it to the used car lot downtown and tell them, I want to sell it and uh, see how much they offer you. So, dalin mo sa downtown, benta mo, no, dun sa, sa car lot. No, at uh, yeah, ten, the son went to the used car lot to turn to his father and said, they offered me a thousand bucks because it looks very worn out. The father said, take him to the pawn shop. No? The son went to the pawn shop, returned to his father and said, the pawn shop offered $100 because it was very old. Sabi niya. The father asked his son to go to a car club and show them the car. The son took the car to the club, returned and told his father, some people in the club offered 100000 for it. Since it is a Nissan Skyland R34, iconic car and sought after by many. The father said to his son, I want you to know, I wanted you to know, that the right place values the right way. If you are not valued, do not be angry. It means that you are in the wrong place. Those who know your value are those who appreciate you and never stay in a place where no one sees your value. Same with Joseph. Wala siyang value dun sa Hebrew land. Eh, dinala siya ng Panginoon kung saan siya magiging valuable. Kapatid, meron kang lugar na kung saan very valuable ka. Ayahan mo ang Diyos na daling ka doon kagaya ng ginawa na kay Joseph. Ito na. Ano yung nangyari? No? Verse 41. Joseph became ano, in charge sa Egypt. So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring, wow, a stig signet ring from his finger and put it on Joseph's finger. Joseph's finger. Okay. Pagka may signet ring ka noong araw, hindi pa usang signature. Yung signature galing sa word na signet. Kapag yun, nilubog mo sa parang kandila, tapos pinantatak mo sa isang document, pwede yun bumili ng lupa, pwede yun bumili ng slave, ipig sabihin ng firma mo yun. Kumbaga, pin code yun. So, ganun ka, astik. Ibinigay sa kanya yung signet ring ng buong Egypt. Ibig sabihin, may full access siya sa Egypt. O, authority ang ibig sabihin doon, signet ring. Ganun din ang binibigay sa inan ng Diyos. No? Kapag ka tinanggap mo siya bilang Panginata Kapagligtas, signet ring, automatic, you have the full authority to live a good life. You have a full authority to live a blessed life. He, uh, he dressed him in robes of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. So binilan siya ng damit. Kung baga dyan sa Beverly Hills, dyan sa Mayroteo Drive. May problema lang, naransakyan ka lang ang mga looters. No? Anyway, nilagyan pa siya ng bling-bling. No, parang naisip ko tuloy si Joseph eh, parang ano, parang, parang galing sa Audi. May necklace na ginto, may sing-sing na ginto. <laughs> parang galing sa Audi. Uh, Akatuha ah, kasi pinago yung tsura niya eh. Overnight. Yeah, nabago. You know, like, like Joseph. Na in charge sa buong itchy. Si Jesus then in charge sa buhay mo. Matalino si Fotifar. Matalino si Jacob. Matalino si Pharaoh. Ginawa nilang in charge si Joseph. Kung matalino ka, gagawin mo in charge si Jesus sa buhay mo. Make him no? in charge no? sa buhay mo. Kasi hindi ka sasablay. Kung baga, gawin mo siyang... Bisa ikaw mag-drive, gawin mo siyang chopper ng buhay mo. No? Sa kanya ka sumakay. Sigurado wala sa blind. Natapos, hindi lang yan. He had, si, si Pharaoh, he had, he had him ride in a chariot as his second 
in command. Wow! Inigyan ng bling-bling, inigyan ng bagong damit, inigyan pa ng ride. Diba? Astig. Baga, binigyan ng uh, Corvette. Binigyan ng uh, uh, Tesla. Uh, and uh, second in command. Kasi ang chariot noon, ay big sabihin, ang sasama sa kailan dyan, kung di ka official, no? o baga, baga sa kailan may nakalagay dyan, for official use only. O baga sa Philippines, sa red plate. O baga, parang gano'n, de ocho, plaka, parang gano'n. And people shouted before him, make way! Wow! Astig! Prisoner to dati, ah. Make way! Tabi, tabi, tabi! Does he put him in charge of the whole land of Egypt? Tabi kayo dyan. Andito na yung bagong in charge sa whole land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh. But without your word, no one will lift hand or foot in all Egypt. Asti. Hanggat, hanggat di ka nagsasalita, Joseph, walang gagalaw. Ganun ka. Ganun ka tindi yung power na binibigay ni Pharaoh and Joseph. Pharaoh gave Joseph the name Zahina Panea and gave him Asina, daughter of Potiphera, priest of On, to be his wife. And Joseph went throughout the land of Egypt. Kumpaga, matataas sa tao ito, malalaking tao. Pinigyan siya na supermodel wife, kumbaga, super yaman. Imagine nyo, pinigyan ng bling-bling, damit, pinigyan ng chariot, pinigyan ng signet ring, pinigyan pa ng asawa. Diba? Matthew 6.33 Seek ye first the kingdom and righteousness of God, and all these things will be added unto you. Prinsipyo ni Joseph, Si Lord, si Lord, si Lord, si Lord. Kinainggitan ako si Lord. Pinenta ako si Lord. Sinaktan ako si Lord. Pinagbintangan ako si Lord. Ginawa akong slave si Lord. Si Lord, si Lord pa rin. Ang hahanapin ko. Naging prisoner ako si Lord pa rin. Pumulong ako, kinalimutan ako ng kapere si Lord pa rin. Eto na. Seek ye first the kingdom and righteousness of God. And all these things will be added unto you. Joseph was 30 years old when he entered the service of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out from Pharaoh's presence and traveled throughout Egypt. During the seven years of abundance, the land produced plentifully. Wow. Siyempre, eh, awak niya, eh, awak siya ni, ano eh, awak siya ni Lord eh. Joseph collected all the food produced in those seven years of abundance in Egypt and stored it in the cities. In each city, he put the food grown in the fields surrounding it. Joseph stored up huge quantities of grain, like the sand of the sea. It was so much that he stopped keeping records because it was beyond measure. I tell you the truth. Follow Jesus. He will bless you beyond measure. Na hindi ka na na magbibilang. No, ganon katinde yung blessing na binigay kay Joseph. Before the years of famine, no, uh, before the years of famine came, two sons were born to Joseph by Asenath, daughter of Potiphera, prince of On. Joseph named him, uh, named his firstborn Manasseh, and said, "It is because God has made me forget all my trouble and my father and and all my father's households." Yun yung una anak niya, si Manasseh. The second son, he named Ephraim and said, It is because God has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. Wow, that's big. Joseph, from prisoner, from slave. No? Grabe. He was... Blessings overtook him. Sobre, sobra. Bagong asaw, pamilya, mga anak, wealth, fame, power, hindi niya hinahanap, binigay, ni, binigay ng Lord. Blessings will overtake you. Okay? You don't, ask, you don't need to ask for food, shelter, or clothing. Alam nang just ang need mo. Basic yan, yung needs yan eh. Okay? Hindi lang yan. Hindi niya lang ibibigay yung needs mo. Ibibigay niya pa yung wants mo. 
the desires of your heart. Kung ano yung gusto ng puso mo pa sa tama lang. Ha? Ha? Kung sino yung gusto mong mapakasawa, no? kung anong klaseng tao, mga anak, magandang future, andyan lahat dyan, parating para sa iyo. Just be like Joseph, magtiwala ka sa Panginoon. At yung pinanggit natin, yung anak niya, si Manas isa si Ephraim, nako, alamin natin ano nangyari, blessings na binigay sa kanila ni Jacob. Anyway, the seven years of abundance in Egypt came to an end. Ayan na. And the seven years of famine began, just as Joseph had said. There was famine in all the other lands, hindi lang sa Egypt, but in the whole land of Egypt, there was food. And all Egypt began to kill the famine. The people cried to Pharaoh for food. Then Pharaoh told all the Egyptians, ito, pakinggan niya mabuti, ang sabi ni Pharaoh, go to Joseph and do what he tells you to do. Same thing. Kapag ka nahihirapan ka, ang sabi ng Panginoon, go to Jesus and do what he tells you. And the famine had spread over the whole country. Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold grain to the Egyptians. For the famine was severe throughout Egypt. And all the world came to Egypt to buy grain from Joseph. stock <laughs> market. Because the famine was severe everywhere. No? As I end, I know of two Joseph. One Joseph from palace to prison. But our Joseph came from prison to palace. Kapatid, Jesus, si Joseph, is a picture of Jesus that one day every knee will bow nangyayari yung kay Joseph at mangyayari yung kay Jesus. One day, every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. So if I were you, I will put my trust to Jesus now. Huwag na bukas now. Accept Him as your personal Lord and Savior. See, God has a plan for you. We need to praise God in the whole way before God will open the door. We need to trust Him. We need to put our trust in Him. And yo, If you will call upon his name, he's faithful to answer you. That is Romans 8.28. All things work together for good to those who love God, like Joseph, who have been called according to his purpose. Mahal niya kasi ang Panginoon. As I end, sabi sa Psalm 121, verses 1 to 2. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? Nahirapan ka ba ngayon? Ano ka bang problema? Sabi ng salmista, my help comes from the Lord. Kagaya ng kay Joseph, who made heaven and earth. Bakit pero who made heaven and earth? <laughs> and established as tig ang Diyos mo. Siya ang creator of heaven and earth. Kaya huwag ka matakot. Kamangamba. At gabi mo si Kristo bilang Panginoon Tagapaglitas. So, last week, we talked about Joseph the Dreamer. Now, we just finished Joseph the Governator from prison to palace. Next Wednesday, no? uh, Joseph the Prince of Grace. And in last part, Joseph the Forgiving, Blessed Ruler. Nako, exciting. Pa exciting. Nako, exciting yung part 3 kasi may, i- nako, may iyakan doon. No? kayo mawawala. So, hayaan niyo po sana na ipanalangin po kayo sa gabi na to. At ah, manalangin tayo para sa ano, sa nangyayari sa kapaligaran natin. Salamat Panginoon. Dakila ka sa buhay namin. Kagaya na pagiging dakila mo sa buhay ni Joseph. Napaka-faithful mo. Hindi mo siya iniwan. Grabe yung favor na binigay mo siya sa kanya. Ang maganda nun kasi Lord, ikaw Alpha and Omega. So, Ano yan? Diyos ka noon, Diyos ka ngayon, at Diyos ka bukas. So kung ano yung na-experience si Joseph, pwede namin experience Pwede ka namin gawing super ng buhay. Pwede namin ibigay sa iyo ang tiwala. Pwede kaming 
tumanggap sa iyo bilang Panginoon at Kapagbigtas. Yun ang dalangin namin. Na. Kung sino may nanonood niya, nakikinig. Ipuin niyo po yung mga puso nila. Taway, tanggapin ka nila bilang Panginoon at Kapagbigtas. Lord, I also pray doon sa mga pangyayari dito sa Amerika. Yung mga uh, racism, yung looting, yung chaos, civil unrest. Tangan, ililift up namin lahat ito sa iyo. Ikaw ang pwedeng umayos niya. Talangin namin ang kapayapaan at uh, hayaan niya po na katwiran ang mamayani sa aming society dito. Uh, I pray for Los Angeles lang God and as well as the other cities. Uh, ibalik niyo po sa normal, Panginoon. Gayun din po yung mga COVID patients. Panginoon, dalangin ko yung pamilya ng karasi ko na namatay, Panginoon, dahil sa COVID-19. Dalangin ko yung asawa niya, yung anak niya. Kayo po mag-comfort sa kanila. Dalangin ko, Panginoon, na nakapin niyo po sila sa pangoras na ito. Salamat, Panginoon. Talahin ko na pagalingin niyo lahat na may sakit ng COVID-19. Talahin ko, Panginoon, lahat na nanonood na pagpalain niyo ang kanilang mga puso. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Hayaan niyo po na i-bless ko kayo sa gabi na ito. Now may the God who peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. By the greatness of the Father, through the love of the Son, and by the infinite power of the Holy Spirit, you are all blessed. Amen. And amen. Maraming maraming salamat po. And uh, Pastor Mani will... Uh, We'll uh, close. Uh, we will we'll preach on Sunday, and uh, I hope we see you on Sunday for sa ating Sunday service 10 o'clock Los Angeles time. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless you. Happy Wednesday. Bye.